One of Maryland's most polluted rivers, Back River is also a direct tributary to the Chesapeake Bay, which is the largest estuary in the United States. The watershed of Back River encompasses 73 miles of streams that mostly run through eastern Baltimore City and southeastern Baltimore County. Some of the tributary rivers include Herring Run, Stemmers Run, Chincapin Run, Bittison Run, and Moores Run. Many of those streams have natural areas and parks buffering them, but because of the high level of pollution and litter from the more developed areas, the water quality is poor and in some areas it is considered impaired by the Maryland Department of the Environment. The Back River Wastewater Treatment Plant is on the coast of Back River, treating 180 million gallons of sewage every day, which add to the pollution of levels that are already high before reaching Back River. According to a Baltimore Sun article, fecal coliform, a bacteria found in raw sewage, was at 2,000 times healthy levels in 2004 in the tributaries to Back River. It is advised to not swim or fish in Back River, as fish are likely to contain harmful levels of mercury. This is what the river looked like after a major rainstorm hit Baltimore and washed the trash downstream. The litter is a problem partially because of historical dumping and partially because the storm drains in Baltimore washed the trash from anywhere in the 39,000 acres of the watershed down into the tributary streams and into Back River. As the pollution of Back River seems tremendous, so is the amount of community support that the cleanup is receiving. Local organizations, residents, restoration committees, and government organizations have all been working hard to clean up the litter. It is incredible how much hard work and dedication has been put into the cleanup of Back River. With help from many organizations and donors, the Back River Restoration Committee alone has removed thousands of tires from the flats and shorelines in a short amount of time. And that does not count the tires removed throughout time by the local residents who diligently work to clean the river up in their spare time. There are also ongoing projects by different groups to improve water quality through planting vegetation that breaks down contaminants in the water. You can do your part for Back River by attending community cleanup days held by one of the local restoration groups, by picking up litter, and by actively letting politicians know that you care about the water quality in Back River. And make sure you keep in mind that your everyday actions do affect Back River, even if you are miles away.